Okay, so the first thing I do to start my starter theme for WordPress is going to underscores.me. All right, this is an awesome starter theme that you can use to actually create your own starter theme. So you can start every theme from there. All right, that's, that's what I do. I have a theme based on underscores. I modified a little bit the theme. I added my own CSS. I added my own functions and stuff like that. And every time I have to start a theme, a basic theme or maybe a very advanced theme, I use this one, okay? So you can do the same. You can, you can read a little bit about them here, the files that they have. Um, and uh, this is actually all the people that are currently supporting the project. Thank you so much because I really love it. So thank you so much uh, for this. And um, it's very simple. You gotta put the name of your theme right here. Let's say uh, uh, chocolate, for example. You can click on advanced options and you can fill all this like your name, for example, or, or your name and your 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 website here, this description for your theme. Even you can include your SAS files, which is pretty awesome if you know SAS. But I'm going to leave it like that. Just simple options, just the name of the theme. And I'm going to click here on generate. Okay, click there. So it's gonna download a zip file. So you have to go to that zip file, uncompress that file, and you're gonna have a folder. Open that folder, and you will see, if you're familiar with themes, you will see that this is uh, the regular files uh, for a WordPress theme. You know, you have the footer, the functions.php, the header, and all the other files that you need for a theme right um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy this file okay I'm going to this is in my fresh WordPress installation I'm gonna go to WP content to themes and as you can see uh, we don't have any theme this is our the default WordPress themes I'm gonna paste it right here Okay, now we have a folder uh, named chocolate. That is the one that we created with underscores. Okay, and um, the first thing I'm gonna do is open this folder in my text editor so I can uh, edit whatever I want in the theme. And here I have everything here. Um, let's go back to our files. And uh, okay, everything looks good. I want to go to my WordPress admin dashboard and take a look at the themes, All right? As you can see, we have here a theme named chocolate, okay? Um, we have, uh, is by, under you can change all this, like the description, the uh, the the name everything I'm gonna show you how to do it right now, but I wanna actually add a screenshot right here because it's blank and I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do I have another screenshot from another theme that I have. I'm just gonna copy and let's go to chocolate, paste it right here. I wanna replace it. Okay, let's see how it looks. All right, that's a lot better, okay? So um, let's see how our website is looking right now. All right, so this is the 2016 theme by WordPress. And as you can see, it's a very basic theme that you can start with. Um, you have a navigation. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate our starter theme created by underscores. All right, now let's see how it looks. 
Okay, so as you can see, um, it's like a theme with nothing. It's like empty. No style, no anything. Looks, you know, it looks very ugly and, uh, you know, the colors and everything, but this is what it is. This, this, this is how you start. You need, you need empty, uh, nothing, all right? This is how you start your starter theme. Now, I'm going to show you how the files look right here in my text editor. So, for example, we have, um, we have the header, we have the style CSS that we can actually add some CSS right here. I'm going to do it right now. But first, I'm going to open the header. And um, as you can see, we have, uh, let's see, we have here at the end of the header. Let me zoom in a little bit all of this. So I know that you can't see. All right, let's go to the end. All right. In here we have a diff with an ID of content and a class of site hyphen content. All right. So this means that in every website, I mean in every page, sorry, in every page of the theme, we're gonna have a, a div with an ID of content and a class of site content right there in the start of the page, okay? Because this is the header. If you're not familiar with um, how these files work, don't worry, I am not gonna get super complicated in this. I am just gonna explain you how, you know, the starter theme from underscores works, okay? So right now, what I'm gonna do is, because we have everything like aligned to the left and it looks a little weird, so I'm gonna, I just wanna center all this. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see uh, actually what's happening here. So everything is right there. And um, I'm gonna go to my text editor. Uh, I'm gonna open my style.css. And because I want everything centered, I'm going to my, uh, my body. As you can see, we have margin zero. So you don't, we don't have any kind of margin. I'm gonna say margin zero, top and bottom and automatic, left and right. And I'm gonna add a maximum width of 1200 pixels. You can add whatever you want here. This is your theme. So feel free to add whatever you feel comfortable. And um, now let's see if this works. All right, so now we have our website is centered. Let's go to the, as you can see, we have here the navigation. It looks pretty uh, ugly right now, but we can add some CSS there and uh, make it look awesome. But I'm not gonna do it. I just showing you um, how the starter theme works. If you wanna learn more about how to convert some HTML and CSS to WordPress and know you know, learn more about the process of the CSS, you can actually watch this video right here. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go to the home right here. And as you can see, it's centered. We have content here. And it looks like we have everything centered right now. And as you can see, we have everything working so far, okay? So same thing you can do, uh, let's say we can on the header, we have here the content class. Uh, so we can actually add some, let's go to the bottom of this file here. Let's add the content, the content ID. And for example, let's add a background, like a gray background, something like that. Right, save it. Let's see what happens. All right, look at that. It's working so far. Um, um, 
of course it needs a little bit more style like maybe padding let's add some padding let's let's see how it looks let's say 20 20 pixels 20 20 pixels of padding all around the content right there all right you can see we have the padding right there let's go to the about page looks good contact looks good all right so um this is how i start my themes but i actually have already my starter theme based on underscores i have uh, a lot of style there a lot of uh functions uh, custom javascript that i like and i start with that theme so i and i can create any theme that I really want, but you have to start with something, right? Something that you feel comfortable, that you created, you know the code, you know where the files are and everything. So this is the best way to start uh, a theme by creating your own starter theme. And from there you can go and go deeply and, and create a super mega advanced, wonderful theme. All right, so I just want to show you how the basics, um, you know, how, how, how you can start just the basics right now. I really want to uh, show you more, but I don't want to be here one hour showing you uh, all the details and all the files. But I think that you, you got the idea. If you have questions, you can comment below and I will be very happy to answer you. But yeah, uh, take a look at underscores.me and you can start here and go from here. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't like it, but this is what I use and I'm super happy with it. Uh, my clients you know, love uh, how the websites are designed and they are responsive and everything and this is how I start. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember, I'm creating one video every week. So if you wanna keep learning, subscribe and have an awesome day.